guy just on the beat. guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and just let you guys know i am going to be a little bit quieter in this video because my baby's finally home and he's in the bedroom sleeping and i don't want to wake him up at least before he's gonna wake up because he's going to be eating in about an hour but anyway hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute since i've been up here um, today I'm going to try to film two videos, basically postpartum videos. This one is going to be about breast milk pump. Got her baby. Breast milk pumping, just everything breastfeeding and how to, you know, get that supply started up and running and flowing and all the other good stuff. So just jump right into the video. I basically wrote down some things that helped me. And before I get into these tips, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know these are not like oh buy this product and this product is going to work and oh da, 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 no let me go shake my baby okay he's sleeping <laughs> oh yeah okay but yeah this is not no like oh i bought all these items and it made me pump all this stuff no not at all nothing like that so if you think that this is going to be oh i bought these products the next video I'm going to tell you guys what I did and what helped me. Like I said, I bought nothing. So let's go ahead and jump right into these tips. First tip on the list, start as soon as you can. And when I say that, that's whether you're strictly breastfeeding, whether you're pumping, whether you're doing a combination of both, start as soon as you can. So if you have a vaginal birth, they're gonna put you know skin to skin and you can breastfeed and all the other stuff again as soon as possible. Me, I had a C-section, so I had to wait about, it's like the next 24 hours to start, but I literally, as soon as I could start, I started. So start as soon as you can, go ahead and get all that stimulation, get that pumping going, cause that's gonna help. If the longer that you wait, the more that your boobs are gonna be like, oh, you don't need the milk that we already supplied. So we're not gonna make no more milk. If you go ahead and pump and get that milk out, your body gonna be like, okay, we're out of milk now. I need to make some more milk so that she can feed her baby. Okay, next, try to pump or breastfeed at least every three. You can stretch to four hours. Me, I was pumping like every three hours. <laughs> I was on it. So literally we had um, alarm set, cause since I had a C-section, I had to stay in the hospital a little longer. So me and my mom, we had alarm set and we was pumping every three hours taking the milk down to make you to the baby and come back up next three hours, do it all over again. And that way you get your body set so that it can already know, all right, we're gonna need to have some milk in the next three hours cause she's gonna pump again. Try to set up a schedule, that's what I say, get a schedule. Cause y'all currently I am now, my baby just turned a month yesterday. He's a month old and I'm way off schedule. I used to pump like eight times a day. Now I'd be lucky if I pump three. <laughs> It just, I got lazy. I need to get back on it because my milk supply is very much showing that I am off schedule. So keep on that schedule as long as possible if you want to build up that stash. But see me, I have a huge stash. I'm going to try to show you guys some pictures and some videos. I have a huge stash of breast milk currently. <laughs> So I'm off schedule and I'm not making as much milk, but like I'm not in a drought where I don't have milk and he'll be hungry, you feel me? So in the beginning, pump as much as you can, get that supply up because trust me, once that milk gets to flowing, it gets to flowing, okay. Next, skin to skin as much as possible. And me, like I said, I had a C-section so I couldn't skin to skin as soon as he came out. I had to wait. I think until the next day to do skin and skin. And I did skin and skin probably a total of three times. That's really, like I said, because he was in the queue. I couldn't have him around me all the time. We could only get him out of the incubator for so many um, minutes to an hour. So it was just a lot. And plus, they didn't want him to be using all of his energy, you know, to be playing in my face. He needed, his, he needed to sleep and save the energy so that he can grow and get out of the queue. So, y'all excuse my lid. It's not about the wig, though. But, so I really couldn't skin to skin as much as I wanted to. So, uh, 
bonus tip with that is if it was like if it was like me and couldn't do skin to skin as much as possible when you pump try to have you know pictures and videos of your baby to look at while you're pumping because it kind of stimulates you the same if you can get a video of him crying or whining great because once you hear it your body be like oh the baby might be hungry let me get some milk ready just in case we're about to feed the baby you feel me so try to have um, maybe one or two videos of the baby crying or pictures of the baby because that's what I did. I have so many pictures and videos <laughs> of my baby. And when I would pump in the hospital, I would watch them and listen to them to get that milk flowing. Next, eat and stay hydrated. Let me tell you, pumping milk takes so much from you. You're literally feeding your baby whatever you eat. So you have to make sure that you are eating so that you won't be starving. Let me tell you, literally it's a different feel, a different type of starving to be hungry and try to pump and be hungry afterwards. Oh my gosh, you're starving. Your stomach is literally growling and you will get dehydrated. I've had moments where like, I felt so out of whack and it was really like, oh dang, I'm feeling dehydrated and I will go up down a bottle of water. You have to make sure that you're eating and that you're drinking water because pumping will take it from you, okay? And plus also you need to make sure that you're eating and drinking water because that's what you're feeding your baby. You can't pump, you know, milk and not have no water because that's how you're getting their water. You can't give a newborn that's strictly breastfeeding, water, juice, none of that. They only can have breast milk. So you have to make sure you're drinking enough water so that they're drinking enough water to be hydrated. Just something in there. Next, relax and stay positive. Positive mindset. If you need something to motivate you, like I said, what motivated me was that I knew I wanted to breastfeed. Also, my baby was growth stunning, which just means that like they wasn't growing as fast and as much as they should have been. Or get, and it wasn't getting as much nutrient, nutrients inside of me. So breast milk was like the best possible thing that he could have. So I had that on my side. And also I didn't want him to have donor milk. I wanted him to have my milk. <laughs> so all of that motivated me and pushed me to make sure that I'm pumping as much as I can, staying on schedule, and make sure that he has enough to eat. And also relax, do not stress yourself out. One thing that I read, which I was nervous about because I do it bad, but I talked to one of the nurses at the hospital and she told me that it's okay. But they say don't watch yourself pumping or trying to watch how much you're pumping because you'll stress yourself out, you know, trying to get so much milk. But in my case, I was pumping so much milk. I was watching because I was amazed at like how you can pump milk, like the way it looks while you're pumping, how the milk looks at the beginning of pumping versus how it looks at the end. I was very fascinated in it. And I was very fascinated in how much milk I would be pumping in a session. Like I have, um, I put a picture of two bottles. They're about, I could put, um, they, you could put about six ounces in each bottle. And sometimes I would pump and have both of them full in a, in a session. So I will watch in amazement. But if you're not making a lot of milk and you're trying to up your supply, it's not recommended to do stuff like that because you will end up stressing yourself out trying to pump more and you end up pumping less because your body's so stressed. So don't do that. Next, consult a lactation consultant if, you know, it's just not working out for you. At the hospital, they have them all the time walking around the floor during the day. You can talk to them, they'll help you, they give you packets, all this other stuff. They will, you know, give you tips and tricks to figuring out stuff. Cause like me, like I said, I was pumping good. They knew me all around the NICU for like pumping so much milk. <laughs> it was crazy. And one of the consultant, the lactation consultant, I had came in because one of my boobs was like hard as a rock that was hurting. Even when I would pump, I would still have hard places and they just would hurt. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, and this is my good boob because there's always going to be one boob that pump a little more than the other one. And the one that pumped the most was the one that was hurting. So I was like, uh-uh, we can't do that. I need this boob and, you know, it's best shape. And she gave me some great advice. You know, heat to the boob for like 15 minutes before you pump. Pump down so that gravity can pull the milk. Because basically, I had a clogged milk um, duct. That, for doing that for like a day, made everything so much better. Also, a tip that she told me, heat helps produce milk. Cold helps to stop milk. So put heat to the boob and you'll, you know, loosen up anything in there. Cold, more like you're trying to, you know, wean off of breast milk, that'll help that. And then my last tip, if all else fails, or if your milk supply starts 
starts to go down, go down. Try some lactation supplements or like they got cookies, brownies, drinks, pills, gummies, you know, powders to mix into drinks. They have so much stuff that they recommend that, you know, can help you on the internet. Look up, do some research, and maybe try some if all else if all else fails. Do not let that be your first go-to. So that was me. I had in my registry of a fifty dollar bundle for you know producing milk all of stuff and ended up not needing it i was so glad that i didn't buy it because i needed to give my body a chance first before i just jump right into oh i'm gonna need all this stuff to produce milk believe in yourself before you go to this i will definitely say let this be last resort if if all else fails and invest in supplements okay. and so that's all of my tips that i have that help me to pump honestly i really just think that i was blessed <laughs> to be able to pump as much as i did within four weeks because it was crazy i was taking down so much milk to the NICU i didn't even realize how much milk i was taking i put a video when i came home of how much milk i brought home from the NICU and they was feeding my baby every three hours <laughs> So it's just crazy. I really think I was blessed and I'm just very grateful that I could make milk like that in the beginning. So let me know if these tips help you guys. If you have any tip or anything that's, you know, not investing in supplements first, <laughs> comment down below. If you have supplements that helped you, comment down below because I'm looking to start adding that to my regimen. Because like I said, I got very much off schedule and I don't produce as much milk. So I probably will start looking into um, things if trying all of these things doesn't get me back on track. Also, if these shirts you're interested in, they're on my website. <laughs> they're just on my mannequin. I want to wear this one so bad. It's so cute. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Peace.